if you can see the screen. Okay, I just lost being able to see the typing and questions. Oh, there's the chat. No, I can't hear you. Melissa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. I'm seeing your screen. It looks like it's, it's sharing fine. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, great. Okay, and uh, you've got the, uh, the questions frame open so you can have visibility into the questions queue at the end of the session. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, great. All right, thank yeah. you. All right, I'll be right back in five minutes. All right, sounds okay. good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar hosted by TraderPlanet.com titled Make 100K a Year Day Trading Gaps with a 70% Win Ratio System. This is Darla Tuttle, and I'll be serving as your host for today's session. The information contained in today's presentation is for informational purposes only. It is not a recommendation to buy or sell any trading instrument, and the opinion given by our presenter may change without notice at any time. Please also be aware that trading involves substantial risk of loss and therefore may not be suitable for all investors, and past performance is not indicative of future results. We are recording this session and we'll be publishing the recording to TraderPlanet.com tomorrow, so you will be able to review the presentation again at your convenience. We've also made arrangements with the presenter to set aside time at the end of the lecture for questions. If you have questions, Kindly type them within the questions pane so she'll have one location to check for your inquiries. Our guest presenter, Melissa Armo, founded the Stock Swoosh LLC in December of 2012. The Stock Swoosh LLC is an educational firm that empowers traders with a complete and detailed system to become profitable traders. Melissa graduated magna cum laude from Gettysburg College with a BA in philosophy and a minor in Latin and political science in 1994. She was employed with several banks and brokers in Pennsylvania, Florida, Arizona, and New York as a mortgage broker for 17 years. She changed careers from banking to pursue a security trading career in 2008. A self-taught day trader with seven years of experience, Melissa's specialty is a trading strategy that focuses on shorting stocks that gap. It is now my pleasure to introduce Melissa Armo, founder of thestockswoosh.com. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me today, Trader Planet. Can everyone see, see my slide here? Let me know. Are we good? Questions here. Let me just. I can't see everyone's questions. Hold on one second. Uh, hold on one second. No, I can't see the questions for some reason. It is baby small, and I can't. I can't see. I can't seem to make it bigger. No, I can't see. I can see only one person that just said, hear you. I can't scroll back and see them. Darla, if you can write in there how to actually make it bigger to see the questions, because as of right now, I cannot see. I cannot see. If you can write in the questions, because I just closed the chat, and that didn't, that didn't help. If you can write in there, because right, as of right now, I can only see the last question. All right, welcome everyone. My name is Melissa Armo in a company called The Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to talk about the only strategy that I trade, which is gaps. And I have a great system that I've been trading now for eight years. And what I'm gonna talk about today is the fact that you can make a living day trading this system. And for most people, making $100,000 a year actually is a living. Uh, you can make more money though with, with trading. You just have to have a good method. Now, what is a good method? A good method is anything where you have a high percentage of amount of profit that you can make and low losses. So my system is very specific and I pinpoint a specific stock each day I want to trade. I usually trade one stock a day. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. And and if there's any way that I can see these questions better, Darla, I can't, I can't. I closed the chat, so I can't even see it unless you write it in the question box. I can see how to how to pull it back. But as of right now, I can only see the last question. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. And you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype. I do a lot of videos that I put on YouTube that you can watch. Uh, I This is me. This is a picture of me. And I've been trading since the end of 2008. So I started a business uh, to teach people my method like in 2012. So it was kind of a process for me when I first started out in the market. I wasn't sure what to do and I did a lot of different things. And then one day I made a lot of money trading gaps. And I realized how profitable gaps are. 
And I realized that, uh, that they're very profitable. And I decided I wanted to focus on this. And I also realized that trading is about cash flow. In other words, you are chunking it out. You take the train, you get the move, you get out. You take the train, you get the move, you get out. It's about chunking it out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's really what day trading is. I don't hold trades overnight unless I'm in an option, for which I, which I just recently started doing. But for the most part, I'm looking to get in something and then to get immediately out. Sometimes in five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, 15 minutes. I just trained really in the morning period. So if you want to day trade for a living, you have to have a business plan, a focus for what you're doing, because if you end up trading all day long, you kind of get away from yourself. And this is what a lot of day traders do that doesn't end up working. They, they are not focused enough. They don't have a trading plan. The trading plan has to be specific enough for not just the amount of money you're risking, but the number of trades you're taking too. So what kind of income can you make? Well, the amount of money you can make trading varies. It is dependent on how much you risk, what stock you trade, and how you money manage the position. But one of the most important factors is how much income you can make from the market it depends on what strategy you use to make the money you want to make. For example, you might be trading now, but losing, and it is all because you have a bad strategy, even if you have good money management and sizable risk, the strategy and what you choose to trade each day makes or breaks your profitability as a trader. So where do you start? Okay, A lot of people have no idea how to make money, but really the key is the focus. Okay, You've got to get the right pick. That makes the world a difference. And then you take it with size. Okay. The other key ingredient to being successful is having a good mentor and following that mentor. Not only can having a trading strategy that has an edge make a difference in your trading, but also following a trader who has an edge. And I have an edge. And learning from that trader day by day and month after month. So people are following me. They're taking my calls in their trading room every day. And it can make a world of difference for you to follow someone and to help you consistently make money, okay, rather than doing it alone. Because I, when I'm calling the trains live and taking them and people are doing them with me, it helps people get conviction. Now, this was a gap. This was a stock that gapped up today. This was Amazon. And I was in this, actually, as an option trade. This shows you the power of the gap. Because the stock actually closed yesterday, like at 5, I don't know, 580 something it closed. And then it gapped up last night into this morning and ran huge on the day. And this is the power of the gap. The power of the gap is that something can move tremendously in a gap because from the close of yesterday, the stock was down at 580 and into the close tonight, it was up 50 points from the close of the previous day from a rally. So you could have day traded this today, okay? Or you could have done it actually day traded an option in this today. So the power of the gap is that you have money that comes into the stock to either buy it or sell it and then you day trade it. So what is a gap? For those of you that don't know what a gap is, a stock gap in the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday. Almost every stock or ETF gaps every day. So in order to determine what gaps are playable, you need a method to determine how to find what stock to trade and in what direction. Not all gaps are playable though for profit, okay? So there are some gaps that you can trade and and make money on, and then there are lots of gaps you can't do anything else with, okay? So again, you can't do all gaps. You have to know which gaps are good. The gaps that are playable are very, very powerful though. So why trade them? Because they move, like the Amazon, and I'll show you others here today. They move a lot. And the only way you make money as a trader is if you actually are get stuff that moves. I mean, that is the only way that you, that you make money, okay? So why are gaps unique? Well, it's the only day trading strategy in the market that sets up in the market daily. It has follow through most days. It's directed by power money. It has a lot of momentum for individual traders to profit and they are easy to find and, and, and read if you know how. The thing is that many people do not know how to trade or read gaps correctly. We're gonna look at some today, but I developed a method to do so that is very specific. Gaps are unique because they're the only strategy to play for day traders in the market that works consistently for profit. I'm more convinced than ever that this is the only way to make money day trading. A lot of people struggle with day trading because they're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all over the place. I only do gaps. It's all I've done for the eight years I'm trading. I mostly focus on shorts, although I will do some longs. 
And I usually only do one trade a day, maybe two. That, that focus, okay, helps me make money. And I'm more convinced than ever that it's the only way to make money as a day trader. You can also use it to actually, uh, you, can, you can also use it to actually uh, swing trade or core trade or do options, okay? So why do gaps work? They work because of institutional money, institutional money that comes into the stock. This is Facebook, okay? This gapped up on earnings last night and ran on the day. How do you know which direction to train Facebook today? How did you know to go long it? You would have had to know my system to know this was a long, it wasn't a short. And I'm sure some traders shorted Facebook today. I'm certain that some, some traders did, but it wasn't a short, it was a long. Now let me just look here, this is hard to see the questions. When do you pick your options over buying the stock? I, I, there's, you can do either one. It's, if you can do either one, Johnny, it doesn't matter. In some of stocks though, it's so expensive to do it in any other way that it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense in, in, it would make sense to do it because some are too expensive. For example, Amazon is very expensive. So it makes better sense to do it as an option in, in, instead of buying the stock, okay? But you can do either one. Anyways, here, Facebook is one of these ones where a lot of traders probably thought this was going to fill the gap, but it wasn't as short. It was a long, and it was a great long, okay? So Facebook was a bullish gap. You've got to know which direction to trade them. And this idea of gap fills, I'm telling you, just doesn't work. It flat out, flat up just does not work, okay? Now let me get the questions here. Um, when the tendency is down, is it better? You mean, is it better to short than go long? Is that what you're asking, German? I prefer to short because selling action comes in faster in a stock than buying action. That's why. So I prefer to short myself. Okay. But I think, I don't know if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? Okay. All right. Let me know if I have any other questions. I'm trying to look at the questions now. So how do you know which way to trade a gap? You have to have a method. You have to have a method to do it, okay? How do you find the best gaps to trade each day? I just look at my scanner. I look at the top 20 lists of the stocks in the NASDAQ and the New York Exchange, and that's how I figure it out, okay? That's how I figure out what stocks to look at that are gapping. I focus on the shorts first, and then I look at the longs, but I prefer to short. But you can find them in your platform. You get a top 20 list of stocks gapping down, in the NASDAQ and the New York Exchange every day and a top 20 list of the stocks gapping up in the NASDAQ and New York Exchange every day. So I have a method to trade these gaps. I focus on one system, one strategy, one method, that's it. So I have one strategy you can trade daily, one method that teaches how to read the stock direction, go long or short, because you won't make money if you're in it in the wrong direction, and one systematic approach and rating system that pinpoints the right stock to trade every day. So this helps you make money. You cannot make money in a stock if you're long it and it falls. You cannot make money in a stock if you're short it and it rallies. You've got to get the direction right, okay? One strategy I also teach that focuses on support and resistance. This helps you make profitable trades. This isn't the reason I take trades, but support and resistance helps me tell me where the target is, where to get in, where to get out. And I'm looking for one time of the day to look for the setups, to get profitable setups, and then to maximize the risk to reward. So having one strategy, which is the, really the key to this lecture, helps you make a living doing this. It helps you make a living. But the strategy that you choose to trade has to have uh, longevity and consistency. Gaps happen every day. They will always happen. Most gaps happen in earnings reports, but sometimes gaps happen when a stock has news on it, okay? or a downgrade or an upgrade, or sometimes it gaps with the market. But you have longevity and consistency in gaps because they, stocks will always gap. So it's something that you can learn how to do for, for years, for years and years and years. So this system I created is one of the most specialized strategies in existence because it looks at so many things. I look at 26 points on a daily chart of a stock to determine its directional bias for the day, its targets for the day, and whether we'll have a momentum move. 26 points is a lot of things to look at to determine a gap or any stock to trade. It is highly detailed and very specific. You cannot look at enough things in the market if you want to be right. 
The more you look at, the more you get in right and more often. And it isn't about indicators. It's a price-based system. Okay, it's price-based. Let me get back here. I think there's a question. Does the direction of the NASDAQ affect the direction you play the gap? No. Good question. No. And let me tell you why. Because gaps work on their own, irregardless of the market. That's the other reason why I think this is a great strategy to trade as a day trader, because many day traders, if they're in a stock short and the market's rallying, lose. If they're in a stock long and the market's dropping, they lose. Most stocks on any given day of all the stocks in the market do have to go with the market unless they're gapping. So I will tell you that it's very, 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 very important to do something that has nothing to do with market. And, and, and that's, again, why I said the same thing. These have nothing to do with the market. I mean, honestly, you know, I'm trying to think of one really good example. Market was kind of like sideways today. So it's a bad example to think of some things today because the market was like back and forth today. But, but like, for example, if a stock, if an if a, if a institution or a hedge fund wants to buy Amazon, they will buy it, whether the market's falling or not. The, like Facebook. Facebook gapped up huge last night and today, and the market really was like nowhere's filled today. And that stock had a big rally and it had nothing to do with the market. So so the market didn't have some huge move up today, but Facebook had a huge move. Amazon had a huge move. So you, you need to actually um, find something to do as a day trader that's consistent, that works here regardless of the market. And this is one of the reasons, like I'm saying, I do gas because I found that it has nothing to do with the market. Now, if I have the market with me, okay, for example, then I may stay in the trade to a bigger target, or if the market's against me, I may get out sooner, okay, something like that. That's how I might use the market, okay? So the golden gap is one of the most specialized strategies in existence, and it's focused on price. And it has over a 70% positive expectancy rate, which is enough to make a living doing this and a good living because you have to pay commissions and you have to pay uh, brokerage fees and you have to pay platform fees and these kinds of things. And so at the end of the day, you have to have something that has a high percentage of return. Today's short was QCOM, one of the two picks I had today. This is the overall bigger chart for QCOM. And I did call this as a swing trade. You could have actually been in this short all the way down in here it has a, a i found that my system works with a higher than 70 percent a 90 percent expectancy rate for the long term this is a swing trade this is going to 40 dollars. this is a qcom and i day traded this today as a short so it's actually better for the long term as far as how i view the stock okay now i'm gonna make a question here dax makes gap Big gaps at the beginning of the session, always more than 100 pips. Well, I don't, I don't do anything but the U.S. market, but that's, yeah. I mean, there's, you, can, you can do anything that gaps and use my system. You're still looking at the daily chart. The idea is to find the gap that will have the greatest momentum each day. That's what you want to do. Okay, that is the idea of this. So how many gaps are there in a day? During earnings season, there's three to five per day or more. And during non earnings season, there's three to five per week. Also, you can take swing trades with the system or overnights with the gaps. No trading when there isn't any good gaps. None. Okay. You take the day off and you can take as many highly rated gaps as set up on any given day using the system. More than one per day you can do. You can do as many as you want. But again, I'm very, very focused and I usually only do one, okay? Like today I did look at two, but I usually try to focus on one. So the success ratio of my method is high and that helps you do it for a living because if you're gonna count on it to pay your bills, you have to have a certain amount of money that you are looking for in it to get, to get out of it. It's about winning, the win ratio, Making money, chunking it out, booking the money. Now, I'm going to talk about risk units here before I go over the trade examples. One R is one risk unit. Each trade you take should have the same risk unit or close to it. If you have one loss, okay, and you have one trade that went three R's, that means you're positive two risk units. Two losses, you're down two R's. One trade with three R's, you're still up one positive risk unit. This is why you're, you're, you have to have the same amount, okay? 
One good trade can cover the losses and still makes you money in a bad trade or two. This is how it breaks down to be a profitable system with the correct money management and utilizing the rating system to pick the correct stock to trade. You have to have the same amount of risk on almost every trade or close to it within $50, $100 or something. That is how it works out for you then to be consistent. All right? That's how you do it. So when do gaps set up? Gaps set up in the morning, quickly into the open between 9.30 and 10. How does the power of the gap work? Because they're created with institutional money. They sell stocks and they buy them. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a gap that will help you pick the correct directional bias to play the gap. Why? Because not all gaps work in the direction of the gap. Some do and some reverse. But having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side, and then you play it. Gaps create a sense of urgency. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you are trading on the side of power money. And that's what is so, 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 so important. Okay, You have to get the institutions to move the stock to move. So the rating system that I use is just a checklist. I go check, 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 and I go through the 26-point checklist when I'm doing something, and then I make the decision, okay? And I decide this is a good one. I'm looking for 20 points or more when I'm actually rating the gap, okay? So I'm looking to, to find something that has a, a high probability, 20 points or more, even on the 26-point rating system. So... I'm looking to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, number two, big moves in the day, number three, early confirmation of the bias and the move between 9.30 and 10, and four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. This is what I'm looking for today trade. The purpose of this system is to read the direction the stock will trade in the day, try to find out what the institutional traders are doing with the stock, are they going to buy it or sell it or short it, and then I have to have the correct entry, which I'm doing on a one-minute chart. This allows for the focus. So the daily chart tells me what direction to take it. The one-minute chart tells me the entry, and then I use a stop. I use a hard stop with a limit order so that I don't lose any more money that I'm willing to risk. This counts, but it's the power of money that moves the stocks, like the selling that happened today in the QCon. The advantages of my system is that it focuses on institutional positioning in the stock, in the gap. Charts are full of price patterns and historical data that is at your fingertips to study and use to make money, but many people don't know what to look at. What do you see in the chart? How do you watch it? You need a high degree of focus and skill in the chart to really, really look at it and say, I know this is going to do this thing, to take the trade and have the conviction and take the risk. There's no magic indicator that's going to do it. You have to have a way to analyze it, and I've created that. It took me three years to do it, but it's the 26-point rating system. It looks at 26 things, and that's a lot, but all of that tells you what to focus on in the daily chart. If it was about just having one indicator or two indicators, we'd all just buy them, and then everybody make money in the market, but it's not like that, okay? Now, here was one of the top picks today besides the QCOM. It was Juniper, and this had a huge, huge just huge move today, okay? So here you have it. High of the day in here was 24. Low down in here was 22. This stock was sold off today with institutional money. Look at it. Beautiful, okay? So this had selling in it, institutional selling, okay? Now let me look at the question here. The time is 9.30 to 10 o'clock Eastern. Central time, I believe, is one hour behind. So, yes, 8.30 to 9. The market doesn't open to 9.30 Eastern. So today I had a list of 12 gaps. I picked the best two that worked, Juniper and Cucumber. These were shorts because I like to focus on the shorts. How would you know to have done those two? The 26-point rating system. That is why you need a system to pick the correct stocks to trade because, because you get up on any given morning, you've got 12, 10, 15, 20, 30 things to look at. They're not all going to work. They are not all going to work. I can tell you that right now. If you took every one of the 12, they wouldn't all work. You'd probably be down. You have to have a way to pick the good ones and the ones that are going to have big moves. And both Juniper and Qcom had huge moves. The large momentum moves offer good setups with a high quality risk to reward. And it's the highly profitable trades that can really make trading worthwhile. It's about picking the good ones. You have got to, got to, got to, got to, got to pick the good ones. OK? 
okay? So you focus on the good ones. You only need one. One, only need one amazing trade. That's, that's all that you need, okay? Each day when you trade, that is all that you need. And if you, if you can do that, you will make money. So how to put the gap rating system to work for profits, the pieces of the puzzle. How are you going to do it? Well, let's go over the trades here today. Here was the juniper. So I got up in the morning and I rated the gap. The stock closed the night before at $26.50 and it gapped down today and opened under $24. And then I rated it in the pre-market. And it was a short. And then I read it and I said, this is a good short. Actually, the stock set up here initially, but it wasn't open. It actually, this bar here ended up being the open of the stock. Do you see where the volume came into it? This green bar ended up being the open. The entry then was right in here. Stop over the high, and it dropped. Now, the dream target I gave on this for the day was $22. $22, and it went there. That was the dream target on this. And I will tell you, that not every gap goes to the dream target, but some do, okay? Some do, and it's up to you if you want to get out into the first target or follow it through. But the entry in this, 23.89, stop 24.10. If you risk 30 cents, the number of shares is 5,000, it's $1,500 risk. Again, your risk should be same to equal, but this is an advanced risk. Exit of the first drop was 22.75. It dropped through 23, and then you take it. If you had taken this trade with a $1,500 risk, the profit was $5,700. Risk to reward is 3.8, okay? The trade, though, did go to the dream target. So it did go another 75 cents, but you would have had to hold it. And we'll go back here. Here's the entry. Here's the first exit. You could have held it down to here. So this is a one-minute chart. So you figure out what to do with the gap on the day chart, and then you take the trade on the one-minute chart. See that? Now, this was the other one today. Again, this I called as a swing trade. Do you see how the stock fell and gapped down here back in November of last year at 55? Look at it. Look at the value this has lost since then. Do you see the power of the gap? This is institutional selling that came in here, institutional selling that came in here, and institutional selling that came in here. So I shorted this today as a day trade. Okay, This went a dollar past where I even thought that it would today. It was a very nice trade. Entry and Q come in the one minute chart after rated it and figured out it was a short was here. Dropped, fell. It went another dollar. You could have actually done it here, got out, done it again here and got out. Okay, I only did the morning trade, but do you see here you get in it, you're in and out in five minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, that's it. So it's very interesting because you know, it's, you have to have patience. I guess I'm not a very patient person. I'm an impatient person. So ultimately for me, you know, I like to be in and out very, very quickly, five minutes, 10 minutes. I'd like to be done every day by 10 o'clock, but you could have held this and Juniper longer today. And they were bigger, bigger trades. Okay. Price of the entry in the morning was 45.64. Stop was 45.90. So you short it here and you put the stop. So you can't lose any more than what you risk. Again, your risk should be close to equal or same to equal. So if you risk 1,500, you could have taken 4,500 shares and risk 1,620. Exits 44.50, profit $5,130. Risk to reward is 3.1. 3.1, this is a good, solid trade. The trade went another dollar, though, after the fact, like I showed you, if you held it. But I usually do the first trade and out. Boom, boom. That's really what I like to do, okay? You want to see that? Any questions about Juniper or QCOM? Any questions? Any questions at all about Juniper or QCOM? I only do the first trade. Okay, like I said, you could have shorted this again here. Someone's asking about a pullback. You could have shorted this again here. You could have stayed in this original trade and not gotten out here. 
I lowered the stop and took it on down. But I usually I just get out of the first tr trade. Unless I only get out of half, and then I'll follow the rest down. Okay. What about the entry point? I know what you mean with the entry point. I don't trade in the pre-market. Someone's asking about the pre-market gap. I'm not in it. I, this is live here day. I don't get in anything until after 9.30. I don't get anything until after 9.30. I'm not in the pre-market, but I'm seeing the gap in the pre-market. This drop down and pull back, you could have shorted this, yes. This is a late trade, though. This is a late trade here for me. It's 10 o'clock. If I'm not in something by 10, I usually don't do it. Could you do this? Yes. This is probably what many traders do. I'm in way before that, and usually I'm done. But even if I was in this and held this through, I, I, I would just lower the stop. Okay. Most day traders are doing these. They see it's already dropped in the day, then they take it late. Usually what happens is 80% of the move is already gone. And sometimes I'm just done. You make a dollar, you're done. No, I have a retail account, but you can have a prop account. Prop accounts are fine. Retail accounts are fine. You have to do what you can afford, okay? Whatever you can afford, but I have a retail account. And, you know, you have to have an account that allows you to short. You have to have good shorts, okay? You have to have a, a broker, whether it's prop or retail, that actually has short access. So in order to get these kinds of trades in the market, you need a plan of action. You have to have a plan of action. What are your financial goals for 2016? What are you doing for 2016? What kind of money do you want to make? What kind of money do you want to make weekly, monthly, for the year? What are your goals? Are you in track to meet those goals, to see those goals through? A lot of people don't even have goals, okay, number one. Have no goals at all. Don't know how much they want to make. Don't know how much they want to risk. Don't know what they're going to do. If you're not happy with your career and your life, maybe you want to learn how to trade. It's extra money, okay? I mean, even to make $500 a day is $2,500 a week. It's an extra 10 grand a month just from trading the first half an hour, hour a day. So what is your plan of action to achieve these financial goals? Well, for me, it was creating a system in the market. I did it. My system is called the Golden Gap System. It, it tells you how, when, and when. How do you do it? You're looking for professional gaps. What stocks do you trade? They rate 20 points or more per the 26-point rating system. When do you trade them? Early in the morning, and then I'm out. And that's it, okay? And you have to chunk it out. $400 a day is $2,000 a week. $2,000 a week is $104,000 a year. This is, for you to make hundred grand a year, you only need to make $2,000 a week. That's only $400 a day. This is so reasonable with my system. It's so reasonable. You don't have to shoot for the moon and make a thousand dollars a day i'm not saying that you can't you can of course you can but you have to have the risk associated with it but very very reasonable four hundred dollars a day and that's a hundred grand a year okay that's amazing that is amazing people okay and this is what i'm talking about now let me just see if there's any questions um Is it difficult to listen and retain? Do, will you be able to contact me later and read the exposition or writing? Uh, this will be on, on YouTube. I'm taping it, yes. Okay, so if you, if you are trying to write stuff down and can't, it'll be on YouTube later. Okay, you can go back and rewatch it. But making money takes focus. It takes an unbelievable amount of focus, people. And that's why I only want to do it for like a half an hour a day. Because I can be perfect in that 30 minutes. I can be perfect for 30 minutes. I can be perfect for one hour. I can be perfect for 45 minutes. It is so hard to be perfect for a long period of time. So using a system and a checklist is a professional way to trade. And the Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system. I teach you how to find the best stock to trade each day. I teach advanced technical analysis, the targets, the entries and which stock to trade in which gap. So if you want to do this for a living, you've got to learn from someone and have a mentor. It helps you stay on track towards your goal of consistent profits. You've got to have a strategy with a high win ratio to make money if this is your job, okay? So empower yourself to trade the market. If you're looking for something to do for extra money or want to change careers, you can start doing it today. And it's a good time because it's January. It's the beginning of the year. 
I teach a class, the full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks at our professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. The class is this weekend, January 30th and 31st from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $3,999. Okay, so if you want to do this class, it's this weekend, okay? If you want to do it, Saturday and Sunday. You don't have a lot of time to decide, but uh, you can watch my videos on YouTube. You can call me and ask me questions. I'm offering the Wealth Manifestation class for free, which is normally $399 if you do the Golden Gap class this weekend. You can email me for sign-up information for the class. This is a great course. It's on trading psychology. I find a lot of people are in fear, okay, about trading and risking money. You can't be in fear. I also teach another class on the trends course, which is on long-term trades. And if you do both of these together, you save $899. It'd be $44.99. And you would also still get the wealth class free. If you want a trading room trial, you can email me. It would be for next week though, after the class. So you would miss the class this month. The next class is probably gonna be sometime in March. Okay? Let me just see if there's any questions here. Uh, the trading room is not available for people to join unless you have taken the Golden Gap class. So you have to have taken the class to join the trading room. But I do offer one-week trials, okay? Does anyone have any questions about anything at all today? I tried to talk very slow today. I'm actually done early, though. And I don't, I don't know what we'll get next week or not, but it is definitely, definitely earning season. So there's tons and tons of gaps every day. Can anyone get a one week trial? Oh, sure, you can email me. I'm just saying it would be for next week. But the class is this weekend. And it's earning season. I mean, February is gonna be a good, good, solid month to trade. Like I said, there was 12 things today and there was two. So, you know, two really, really good ones. Here's my email address. It's melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Let me just see here. I just answered the question, the training room is not open to join unless you do the Golden Gap class. After the Golden Gap class, the training room is $250 a month, but you can't just join the room because these trades set up very quickly and people need to know what to do when they're actually doing it. They have to know what to do and they have to be uh, trained because these trades set up on the one minute chart. You have seconds to get in them sometimes. And I want people to know what they're doing. You have to be serious about it. And just signing up for one month isn't gonna teach you what I do. You've gotta learn it. What if I stop running the room one day and you'd have no idea what to do? You know what I mean? You have to learn this yourself. Why don't I look at the S&P top 20 stocks I just look at stocks that are gapping. I look at stocks that are in the S&P. I do. I'm not sure that if I answered that question, what that question was, but I do look at stocks in the S&P. I look at things that are gapping. They could be in either exchange. It doesn't matter to me as long as it's a good gap, but you can do ETFs as well. I just look at anything that's gapping. Okay? Which could be anything in any of the US markets. But I like to focus on shorts. Occasionally I'll go long if I if I can't find a good short. And you can do ETFs. Like you could actually do gaps in the spiders, like when it gaps, and you could rate it. But I find you have more momentum and actually stocks in companies. You have more play. I'm in New York, Eastern time zone, which makes it easier for trading. But you can trade anywhere in the world. Half my clients actually are not even in the US. A lot of people that are not in the US want to trade the US market. It's exciting, it has volatility, it has momentum. You know? Okay. Thanks for coming, everyone. If you think of anything that you want to ask me, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. 
thanks Trader Planet for, for having me. Does anyone have any more questions? Yes, the webinar will be on YouTube. You can go to my YouTube site under the Stocks Wish and just subscribe and you'll get any, any, any videos that I put there, you know, plays of the days or market reviews you'll get. Okay, great. Very good. Thanks everyone. If you need anything, email me at melissathestockswish.com and thanks Trader Planet for having me. You're welcome. Thank you, Melissa.